Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Very, very quickly, this is something which has just sprung to mind actually and keeps sort of affecting me throughout the day and on and off with certain different hairstyles. It's all about how a certain hairstyle you choose to wear can influence other people's views on you. Now, yes, that seems a bit strange and why should you care? You shouldn't. Of course, just be comfortable with what you want to do and do what you want to do. Life is far too short to worry about what other people are thinking. But when it comes to hairstyle, I'm always surprised at how hairstyle can influence other people's view on you. And I don't mean being sort of being rude or being aggressive or anything like that at all. But literally, whether you're looking well, whether you're looking healthy, smart, professional, that type of thing. Now, in my opinion, my favourite hairstyle for if I'm going to a business interview or a meeting or to work or anything like that at all, because of the industry I work in, is those combed, very well groomed, very combed looks like inspired, I always say, from the 1910s, 1920s. Really, really like that era, those combed slick back looks and those side slick back looks. And that's something I always keep for work and something of a very formal occasions or for big events, that type of thing. When it comes to my hearing, again, that's slightly different. If I'm having a really confident day, then I always have my hair in a pompadour style, with lots of volume, lots of height and that type of thing. And I get a lot of compliments that that suits me. And I believe it does. Um, and of course, very empowering because I wear hearing aids and I have a cable at the back of my neck here and I have hearing aids where I don't have a wire there. But I always find it when you get some, it's really nice always to pay somebody a compliment. And I do from my family members and I'm told it work and things like that. Where my previous job, of course, with everything going on with the coronavirus pandemic at the moment, haven't actually met my colleagues yet. And as I started work from home, when people give you a compliment, it boosts your morale and it sets you up for the rest of the day and it makes you feel great. So I always make a point if somebody looks good, tell them. Or if, for example, you can see somebody's a little bit uncertain, be positive, be really nice to them. It does make a huge bit of difference. But all about today is whenever I wear this particular hairstyle, and I like it because it's starting to just get long enough now to cover my hearing aids. And of course, that may might sound really, really strange being I wear hearing aids. Why do you why do you do that? It's you, it's part of you. I know that. And it's taken a long time for me to get to that way. My mum is fantastic in the fact of saying that my hearing is me, my hearing aids are me, it doesn't change the person behind me. And always is very quick to say what a lovely person I am and my character and everything, which is amazing. Um, and she's an amazing person. But when I have times where I do get a bit self-conscious, I like a hairstyle, which is trendy, um, but I like it where I can just give myself a little bit of cover in regards to covering up my hearing aids. I like people to see me, my style, before my hearing aids and when I just have a bit of a self-conscious day but you know whenever I wear this particular style it's always and I say always but you can guarantee that somebody will say it makes you look a bit washed out a little bit drawn or you don't look particularly well and isn't that strange and I always find that's really really weird so I suppose what I'm trying to say is whenever you're looking for a style be open to people's views, but don't let it make your decision on what you want to do. But just perhaps listen, get a sort of feel for, do people think that the style looks good on you? Do they think that it affects you, sort of does it, possibly even doesn't make you look unwell? Or what does it do to your look? Does it sort of really boost you or does it actually wash you out a little bit? Um, I particularly like the style which I've got. I'm not going to change it for those days where I do feel a little bit a little bit self-conscious of my hearing. The only the only way I would mix this up is by making it a little bit more undone, a bit un, unfinished. Um, the reason I've got it like this today because I've been working from home, it's the end of the week, and I've not really particularly used too much product in it. Um, but I think it looks good. I think it looks really quite sleek, really quite modern. And because it's not overly thick, it's not like a hay bell on my head, like that really old sort of dried out hair. It's really quite sleek. I make sure I look after my hair and my scalp. So I've got that really good invigoration of growth, that nice shine on my hair. Vitally important if you're going to let your hair be in a style like this. But I just find really, really quite interesting. Just a very, very quick update. Isn't it strange how different hairstyles can give different people their different sort of perception on you, your, your look, whether you're healthy, whether you're well, whether you're smart, professional, having a casual day or what have you. Um, isn't that just strange? So what I'm trying to say is the last thing you want to end up is looking washed out in one of your favourite styles, which has happened to me a couple of times, I have to admit, and it's a bit of a hit. So anyway, just a quick food for thought thinking, bear that in mind. Until next time, thanks very much for watching and we will see you then. Bye bye now.